What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to be reacting to a post I found on Facebook by accident. And it just makes me sad, guys. Check it out. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video here. Now, this is just one singular post I found on Facebook going through one of those stock trading groups that are out there on Facebook. And guys, there's a lot of them out there. And the things you see on there, you think that going and looking through uh, stock twits is entertaining? You haven't seen anything yet. I'm gonna try to like make a folder of these and I'm gonna start doing some more videos about them because look, first of all, it's entertaining, right? We can have a little laugh here and there, but at the other, at the same time, guys, it's really educational because we can react to this and go step by step on why it's so messed up now before we move any further if you enjoy this type of content make sure to smash that like button for me and comment in the comment section below if you don't enjoy this type of content and you're watching it and you're mad well let me know what type of content you do enjoy put that in the comment section below maybe i'll go ahead and make a video on that remember this channel i do educational and entertainment content non-stop all the time so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you're alerted when i upload my next video now let's go ahead and jump right on into it all right, guys, so to protect the person, you know, in this case, because it's a Facebook, so it's not like it's some forum handle or some chat room handle. It's like, you know, an actual Facebook. I went ahead and blotted it all out um, so that, you know, nobody would go and send them messages and send them all sorts of nonsense. But here we go. This is what this person wrote in response to an original post that somebody did on a stock trading group on Facebook, okay? All I know is I'm new to this and I'm probably not going to be good with stocks because I don't like losing a single penny, LOL. I got in at 28 cents, then I kept, well, then kept buying it, kept buying in until I was at 77 cents with 500 shares I ended up at one point seeing a potential profit of $250 or so. I stayed in, hoping for a climb. I saw, I saw it kept dropping, so I panicked and cashed out with around $40 profit. It's going to take me a while to get used to this. Laugh out loud. Those of you who, you know, have been trading for a while already know everything that's wrong with this post. But we're going to go ahead and break it down here. The very first thing we did here is we started off at a failure, right? Like we started off setting ourselves up in this case this person for failure all i know is all i'm all i know is i'm new to this and i'm probably not going to be good with stocks dude you already started off with a failure mentality like you literally took your very first step right, into the pool and said i'm not a really good swimmer i'm probably going to drown what who in the right mind starts off on a new endeavor in such a negative fashion. You're already putting negative thoughts in your mind. I'm not gonna be good at this. I'm probably not gonna be good at this because of, how about, I think I'm gonna do good at this because of, right? Everyone's good at something, figure it out, right? All I know is that I'm new to this and I'm probably not gonna be good with stocks because I don't like losing a single penny. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I am sure that if we dive into your finances, we're going to see you losing plenty of pennies every month via subscription services to useless things that do not make life better for you outside of a few 30, maybe 45 minutes, an hour and a half, two hours a day of entertainment, which you can get on YouTube for free, like my channel. Smash that like button. Guys, like, you, we lose pennies every day on frivolous garbage that we don't even need. That we don't even need. Everybody was always like, oh, I think I need this. Eh, you probably don't. You want this. I know when I need something and I know when I want something that I would normally say, oh, I need it. Mm, I don't need it. I want it. In fact, one of the little tricks I use uh, for long-term investing stuff for like extra beyond is when I think I want something that I don't really need and do not even require, I use that money to buy something like stocks. This is how we set ourselves up for like winning guys. You know, I got in at 28 cents, then kept buying it in until I was at 77 cents. From 28 cents to 77 cents is a massive move. That's a massive move on a stock. You kept buying all the way to 77 cents. I mean, there's no problem buying into winners. But did, was that the plan? 
or were you just buying like willy nilly? Ah, yeah, just Robin Hood, swipe it up, right? Is that what was happening there, or were you buying into it with a plan? Because reading the rest of it, it doesn't look like you had any plan at all, but. You know, with 500 shares, and thank God it was just 500 shares. I've seen people do this stuff and post about it with like 50,000, 100,000 shares. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? 100, 200 contracts on options. What are you doing? You don't even know what an option is. I ended up at one point seeing a potential profit, so an unrealized profit of $250 or so. That's really good on 500 shares, but it seems you averaged into this drastically, like a lot. Like a lot, a lot, you know? I stayed in, and here we go. Anybody that's on this channel right now, that's a day trader, okay? You are gonna read this with me, and you're gonna face palm just like I did right now. I stayed in, it's not a problem. Here's where the problem happens, hoping. Hope is not a trade plan. Hope is not a strategy. You can't hope yourself into profit. It's not how it works. The moment you enter a trade and you're hoping and you're like, oh my God, oh please, 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 please. You've already set up for failure. You're gonna get wrecked more often than not because hope is not a strategy. And if you find yourself in a trade where you're like, oh, I hope, I hope, I hope, chances are you chase this and you're in at the peak or near it, okay? This is something we all know, those of us who trade, all right? I stayed in hoping for a climb. I saw it kept dropping. Did you not have a, an exit strategy at all? So I panicked. We got hope and panic all within four words. I panicked and cashed out with around 40 bucks profit. So you went from having being up $250 to just being up 40 and then you're just like, oh, but I'll well, take this. I mean, I, it's better than going negative. I'll tell you that much right now, especially when you don't even have a trade plan. It's gonna take me a while to get, it's gonna take you more than a while to get used to it because it's gonna take you education. Never, 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 never enter a trade without a trade plan. What is a trade plan? You might be new here. Here's where a little bit of education comes into this entertainment. You might be new here, right? So what's a trade plan? A trade plan is when you identify a stock you wanna buy and trade, okay? It's not an investment. You're not gonna hold it for the next 20 years, okay? You're not gonna hold it for the next five. It's a trade. Might be a day trade, might be a short-termish swing trade on a penny stock, nonetheless. You're going to find your stock that you wanna trade. You're going to set an entry. You're going to know where your stop loss is, meaning I'm not gonna hold it beyond this level, and you're gonna know where you're gonna take profits as you go. Typically, when a trader is going to enter a trade, we know exactly where we wanna buy it, and we already know exactly, before we hit that buy button, where we're gonna stop out of it. Very crucial, because you must know what your downside is. It's not holding and hoping. If you're a trader, you're a trader. If you're a holden hoper, well, then you're just a gambler, okay? And I guess it's better to gamble on stocks than something else, but hey, I'm not here to promote that nonsense either, right? So you gotta know where your entries are, you gotta know where your exits are, and you gotta know where your stop loss is. And if you're gonna risk a dollar, it better be to make a minimum of two, preferably three, as you move along in that trade. So please, if, if you want to conserve your money, if you want to conserve your mental capital and, your, and, and the capital in your accounts as well, you have to study, you have to learn. I'm not telling you to come join the daytraderchatroom.com. I'm not telling you to go join any other service. There's plenty of free content out there. In my channel alone, I have probably combined with like over 400 videos, tonnage of information here. Study, study, and study. Study so you don't end up featured on one of these videos. Let me know what your thoughts are. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Remember to check out the links in the description section below to Weibo. You download the app, you fund your account with 100 bucks, and currently you get four free stocks. Also, the daytraderchatroom.com. You have a free course down there you can download, or you can join us for five days for free five dollars and uh you can join us there and check us out if you're not an active trader and just uh want to know more about how to make side income and some sort of one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions type stuff going on then you can join the uh, members section of my channel it's just 4.99 a month to start and it you get access to exclusive content just for you i hope you're having a great day and i hope to catch you on the next one